Can a politician win an election from jail? This question might seem far-fetched, but it became a reality in the case of Pakistan's former Prime Minister Imran Khan. In late 2023, the world watched in disbelief as Khan, a leader known for his charismatic personality and political acumen, found himself behind bars. His arrest was a shock to many, sparking a malish of reactions. Supporters rallied behind him, voicing their outrage and concern, while critics questioned his leadership and integrity. The reasons behind Khan's arrest were clouded in controversy. Accusations of constituency border amendments favoring Khan's opponent and media blacklisting of Khan's name and image were rife. Allies and supporters were not spared either. Many faced arrests and harassment stirring further unrest among the public. In the midst of this chaos many speculated about the future of Khan's political career. Would this be the end of his journey, or would he rise against the odds? Despite the physical constraints, Khan's spirit remained unbroken, and he decided to continue his political journey, even from behind the bars. Imprisonment could have been a political setback but Khan turned it into an opportunity. He held a virtual rally, a first of its kind, from his prison cell. In an unprecedented move, Khan's party, PTI, organized a virtual rally using artificial intelligence, an ingenious workaround for Khan's physical absence. This wasn't your average online meeting. The rally was a technological marvel, featuring a speech delivered by an AI voice replicating Khan's distinct tone and style. The AI didn't just parrot a pre-written script, it was designed to emulate Khan's charisma, his fiery passion for his country, and his persuasive oratory skills. The response from the public was overwhelming. People from all corners of Pakistan and indeed the world tuned in to witness this groundbreaking event. The rally received over one and a half million views on YouTube, a testament to Khan's enduring popularity and the curiosity the unique event sparked. However, the path to this technological triumph wasn't smooth. The event faced disruptions including reduced internet speeds and limited access to social media platforms. These obstacles believed to be instigated by Pakistani authorities were a stark reminder of the challenges Khan was up against. This rally was more than just a political event, it was a bold statement against the powers that sought to silence Khan, it was a testament to his resilience and his refusal to be sidelined. In spite of his physical confinement, Khan's voice echoed louder than ever, reaching millions of ears and hearts. Yet the rally was not just about Khan, it was about the people of Pakistan, their right to hear from their leaders, and their capacity to rally behind a cause they believed in, even in the face of adversity. Against all odds, Khan's virtual rally was a success, garnering over 1.5 million views on YouTube, but this was just the beginning of his uphill battle. Khan's virtual rally shook the political landscape of Pakistan. It raised questions about the fairness of the upcoming elections and the future of politics in the country. In the wake of this event, Accusations flew thick and fast, painting a murky picture of the political landscape. Khan's opponents were accused of manipulating constituency borders to their advantage. The media was accused of blacklisting Khan's name and image, effectively turning a blind eye to his plight. But the aftermath didn't stop there. Khan's allies and supporters were reportedly subject to arrests and harassment, further muddying the political waters. This, coupled with the disruptive tactics allegedly employed by the authorities, such as reduced internet speeds and limited access to social media platforms, only intensified the controversy surrounding the upcoming elections. The implications of this event, however, go beyond the immediate controversy. It has set a precedent, demonstrating how technology can be harnessed in the political arena, even from behind bars. It has opened up new avenues for political campaigning and raised the bar for future election strategies. Imran Khan's journey from a jail cell to a virtual rally stage has redefined political campaigning. It's a testament to the power of technology and a reminder that even the most unlikely scenarios can become a reality in politics.